Hello and welcome to JPL Rides. Today we're going to the grocery store. Uh, it's a little gloomy, so I'm going like all out on my lights. I want to be seen today because we got crazy drivers like that. So, and uh, it is really cool today. It's like 68, so you know, not too cool, not too warm, just about, just right. What's this car doing? Okay, well, good thing I didn't go. Okay. We got, a, we got their barbecue going up ahead. I can smell it. To me, it's a little cold though. Interestingly enough, we're pretty close to um, Toonerville territory. We're in Northeast LA. My display is dirty. I do have to clean the scooter. I am planning to do that today. We will clean it and we're gonna review it. If they took Google, yeah, it's cash only. I don't, I don't carry cash like that. And does anybody, you know, does anybody carry cash? Holy cow, that's a hill. Okay, I don't know if I want to go on this uh, on this street anymore just because it's a hill. Oh, cow. Okay, it's quite a hill too. Uh, just to conserve some battery, I guess. Holy cow, what a hill. Oh my goodness. Let's go past two. Uh, but I do have a car coming up, so I gotta bump this up. I gotta actually have to go fast. Pass two up the hill. The not for the greatest hill. Let's keep going here. I'm gonna keep going. This is Adam's Hill, I believe. Oh gosh, dead squirrel on the road. Uh, let's see what else is up here. All right, let's go up this way. Oh man. Oh gosh, this is a, this is super hills. Holy cow. I don't know why I'm going up this hill, to be honest. I, you know what, I don't want to go up this hill anymore because I'm just like, you know what, when you go up, you got to go down. And it does not look fun having to go down these hills with these brakes that, you know, they're not the best. So I'm going to preserve my brakes and I'm just going to just gonna continue this way. I've never gone this way, so you know, let's. Oh gosh, now we're going down the hill. Okay. There is a stop sign at the end. Um, let's just see. I don't know if I would have been spit out over here necessarily. This is a one way stop. Horrible place for a one way stop. Okay, if we continue, not so much up. All right, we did go up that hill, which, you know, obviously that's gonna take some battery away from us. But, uh, you know, I think we're doing good so far. I would say we're doing good. Welcome to the 600 mile review of the Varla Pegasus. Let's jump right into it. So we're gonna start off with the pros. The pros, starting right off, is that it has gears. 
that is such it's called pass you can go up and down it goes up to three it is so nice to be able to to go through these to manage your yeah that restrict your speed or manage your speed i'll find myself being behind slow cars and maybe i'll jump down to a pass two or if i'm in the bike lane or a bike route maybe i'll go pass two as well so that's nice that 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 it is there i mean i've had experience with just single motor scooters with one speed in the past so this is very much appreciated all right and then the stem itself is much looser now at the beginning it was super tight and now it is much looser very it's 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 much easier to turn and you can really feel the internal steering damper which is somewhere here in this arm and because you can feel it it's very stable and Another pro is at range. The range it offers is very nice. 16 miles is the most I've gotten in mostly dual motor past three. That's top speed, all the power. 16 miles, I would say, I have gotten for minimum range anywhere between 16 to 18 miles. Um, as always, if you want to have better range you have to slow down you have to go slower so the max range on this one it's stated as 28 i haven't i haven't tested that perhaps i will someday a maximum uh range test but anyway let's continue with the review here next up we got the dual motor oh it is so nice to have a motor here in the back and then another one here in the front that's dual motor it's it's 1600 watts that's the peak and so you can get up to speed really quickly and just go up any hill no problem if you can go back to the footage from earlier in this ride you'll see i was going up those hills no problem you can uh, you can get more power as well if you go into the p settings if you hit the plus and the minus sign at the same time you'll get into the p settings so that's how you get into the p settings if you leave it alone it'll go back so we're going to leave it the full suspension is really nice it's not much but it's something you can definitely feel it and probably what most people notice when they are looking at this scooter for the first time it is the solid tires the solid tires are super nice you do not have to worry about flats and you don't have to worry about tire pressure none of that you just hit the road and you're good to go even on the road you can run over anything it's a solid tire it's not gonna get flat so that is super nice so that is all the pros let's move on to the cons now cons solid tires you may be thinking how is this how can it be in both sections but really what i don't know about these tires is how much life do they have left and can i get a replacement but for 600 miles they don't look too bad but that is definitely a question um, to have in mind also because it's solid you feel the vibrations a lot more so if you're going less than i believe 10 miles an hour you're definitely going to feel chatter in your head so let it rip and it is hard to turn on these solid tires so you have to make really wide turns so you don't have to consider that whenever you're riding you can't make sudden sharp turns because you will literally and sometimes you'll feel like you're on the edge of the tire because you literally are on the edge of the tire so that is definitely something to consider with solid tires the brakes are also really not that good the pads they eat up they get eaten up so quickly and you definitely have to keep up a lot of maintenance with with the with the brakes just the brakes themselves um but if you feel like you know it's been a while and you pull you're tightening the, the cable and it's still like okay i just did this recently and i have to do it again it's probably the pads um a new pads will make everything so much better you'll definitely notice the difference it is night and day but the only thing is that you have to do this quite a quite often that's just more it's just something also also something to consider and the scooter also creaks and it, it is from these and, and down there 
there's there's some down here as well all right so that creaks and and it's hard to get a screwdriver i have the tool i just didn't bring it um but so it creaks so you have to that's also something you have to do with upkeep quite often um it's also very heavy and it, while it does fold it falls onto this ring and a lot of people i mean this just feels very nimble a lot of people their ring has broken they'll use it once and maybe on the third time it snaps and that's why they give you an extra ring if they're giving you an extra ring they don't expect it to last a while they're saying here have an extra one on up so i don't i've never used it because i know it's gonna fail just from everyone else's experience so that's the folding so a better folding mechani mechanism a better folding mechanism is definitely needed on with the future uh, model um the bolts can be broken uh don't plan to use the multi-tool they give you you'll notice on this side i have one two two bolts and on this side i have one this one broke so don't use the multi-tool get a multi-tool so that uh, i don't know if that's the scooter or the multi-tool or if it's me but uh i don't know that's a con for me also a con are these lights is the scooter yeah it's still on cool see it's out of pass it's out of the p settings okay so the lights the the backlight is really good i love the backlight and then once you once you hit the brakes it blinks it's really nice and it's at a good angle cars can see it but the front light the front light leaves much to be desired um right now i'm running with all my lights on but the front light is not the best you know overall it's a great commuter scooter great last mile scooter <sighs> if you have to bring it up like on a train or something i don't know i would i would i mean you have to really consider all these things and apply it to whatever your situation is but i mean at the same time for, for the price and what it offers um, it is a very unique scooter. There's a lot you have to consider. You have to go to, you gotta put a lot of consideration into when buying for scooters. Um, you definitely have to think about how it hold up, how it will hold up in the long term, and if you can keep up with the maintenance that it may require. So, and Varla customer service, they are, they are, they always want proof. They want video evidence if you need a video or they need photos. And uh, I always give them the, K, the my order number, and if you do that, they'll get back to you. They're, I think they're I think they're in China, or somewhere in Asia, but usually it's like you email them, and then they'll email you overnight. So um, something to keep in mind. However, they're pretty cool. Not not really, I guess. I only had one issue. I didn't. My scooter didn't come with a bell. I don't even want the bell. I would prefer a horn. That is also another con. Um, a horn would be really cool but yeah that's the review i kind of went off on a tangent at the end but uh let's continue with the ride just a sign of the time that we are in an e-bike right we're in an electric renaissance two e-bikes and then actually three even a little scooter and then the varla pegasus wow you know it's actually kind of nice kind of nice day today
single motor scooty. I just, I knew he was gonna, I, I'm like, you just, just go. I'm like, I, I know you're not gonna stop, so just, just go. All right, thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a like. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Peace.